What's going on, YouTubers? And welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net. And we're making a return to MLB 19, the show. This is Road to the Show with Demarcus King as we're back here for episode 92. And today we are uh, in a series right now with the uh, Rockies. We're on the road right now. We're taking on the Rockies in this interleague matchup here. Tyler Anderson is the pitcher for the Rockies in this first game of, of three. Uh, nice weekend series there in Denver. Should be a good one here. Usually I do pretty well uh, in Colorado, uh, regardless who I am. Uh, Colorado is just one of those uh, stadiums I just, for whatever reason, I just love just, just, just smacking the ball around. So we'll see if that will be the case here today as we have a, a four-and-a-half game lead over the Astros. Uh, we are in a two-game winning streak here. We're 8-2 and two in the last 10 games, and we're trying to see if we can get things going. Now, as for the Rockies uh, in this interleague matchup, they're in second place right now in the NL West uh, with a uh, first-place uh, team right in front of them. That is the Dodgers, who are just a game ahead of them. So a series like this is very important for them, uh, especially knocking off a opposing, uh, you know, first place team in the um, in the uh, you know other opposite league. This will be very helpful for them and uh, really boost their confidence there as they're trying to take on the Dodgers here in a couple of uh, a couple weeks from now. So uh, we'll see here. We got another chance here to uh, hang out with a teammate there, Seth uh, Lugo. There and there you see friendly, not yet bros, but we're friendly. Uh, so we like each other, at least enjoy, you know, somewhat of each other's company. Uh, they see Tyler Anderson's numbers there 28 starts, 16 and 7, with a 3.56 ERA, 153 strikeouts for the season. And we'll see if he can rack up some more here against Demarcus King and the rest of the A's. So there you see 56 uh, home runs so far this season. DeMarcus really having a really good redemption season. As uh, we'll try to see if we can get a spark going here on this dynamic challenge here. And just try to get on any, base on it by any means necessary. So an 0-1 count here for DeMarcus King as we're here in the top of the second. And DeMarcus here is going to slap this one over there to left center field. And that is going to be easily caught there. As that one's actually traveling pretty fast there, but... Uh, not fast enough to get out of the ballpark as that one's going to get bit uh, the first out of the inning. Now go to the top of the fourth. One, nobody on and one and one out. And Marcus King looking to try to see if he can try to get something going for his ball club here as that's going to be a base hit there for him as he gets on board. And a nice one there for him as they are now having a running, runner on board now at first base. So one runner on board, one out. We'll see what Greg Bird can do. Is take a look at his numbers so far this season: 22 home runs, 61 RBIs, and oh, King's gonna go ahead and just go ahead and run, but he is gonna get caught there, as apparently he just did not get a good jump, and the uh, Rockies catcher here does a great job there, popping straight up there, looking like Colby Bear there. Uh, definitely check out that series there here on the channel. As he's our uh, catcher there, he's for the uh, plays uh, plays for the Nationals, so uh, definitely check out that series there. But uh, you see King, uh, he's like, okay, uh, we'll try to see what I can do here in the seventh. So in the seventh inning, still no score, one on, nobody out, and King wants to try to see if he can try, just advance his runner here in this one, as that one's going to get popped out there again to left field for another out. So there's the first out of the seventh inning. And King could not do anything to advance that runner. So now he's on board here again. It's tied up one all here in the eighth. And a uh, two out, two runners on board. And King, uh, he knows he shouldn't have went after that one there. As that's going to leave two runners stranded there. And that'll end the inning as it's tied up one all here. So we'll go to see how things are going to shape up here. If this is going to be a good ending or a bad ending for us in this one and it turns out to be a very bad inning and when i say very bad we end up giving up two more runs to them and not able to come back here as we lose this one three to two it is your final score against the rockies as the rockies get the win here and they are now uh you know defeat a, a you know one of the top teams in the american league one of the top teams really in the uh league overall 
and they get a uh, nice solid win there. Three to two is your final score. King one for four in this one again. As like I said, he's been really struggling at the play. He has not had too many. I can't really think of how many games he's, uh, what, how many episodes it's been since he's had multi hits in a series or in a single game. And uh, it's been a while, to be honest, I think. I, I definitely have to check that out, uh, see when that's it. Because it seems like he has not been hitting too well. He's been getting maybe a hit or two. He keeps his hitting streak alive. I believe it's around nine now. Uh, so that that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, so, but we gotta get more hits out of him, especially when there's runners on on board here. We, he has to be that guy to drive those runners in. So here you are again, trying to get a spark going here for ourselves and for this club as we take a dynamic challenge here. Well, of course we have no choice but to take the dynamic challenge, but we'll go ahead and uh, get into this one here as we'll see an 0-2 count on uh, King, and King's gonna try to run this one. And that one is going to get the runner off the bag as that is going to be an E6 and it's not going to be considered a hit. So that's going to fail our uh, challenge there. Uh, I wish there was a way where you can just ignore challenges if you could. Um, maybe that's something you can do in 21 uh, because I, I think sometimes they just there's bad timing on challenges there. Especially when it's real unrealistic. It's like there's no way of me getting that. You know, if the runners, you know, advance, you know, score the runner from home or from first. It's like there's no way unless they, you know, the uh, computer would have to really, or their defense, uh, the CPU defense would have to be really just crappy. Uh, but we'll take a look here and say, yeah, that's a, a nice swing there. That's not a quite crappy swing at all. That one's actually pretty good. And that one's going to go ahead. And that is going to be a home run for King. That's a solo shot there for him as he breaks up this nothing tie. And it's now one no, one to nothing here in the fourth on that two out swing there. So nice uh, swing, nice eye there from our slugger as he is able to hit one out there. And we'll see exactly in this replay. Yeah, it just picks up there and just gets a good uh, trajectory there and just takes off on his bat. So we'll take a look here as we flash back, back to the fourth inning here. And uh, with that home run we just seen from King. And there you see the fans there seeing this young man. Just a remarkable season he is having since that injury from last year. So we'll go in the sixth inning now. Two to one. We are leading this one by a run. And we'll see King. Oh, my goodness. King did it again. Goes for home run number 58. That's another solo shot there for him. Making it now a three to one ball game here in Denver, what a play this, or uh, what a just hit it was there, as King just uh, showing off what he can do. And there you see the skipper. It's like, yep, that's our boy, that's who we got, and we're gonna keep him around here for quite some time, or at least try to, as they get another solo shot and another run on the board here for the A's, as the A's could walk out of here with a nice victory here, all on the back of one man there, and that is Demarcus King. Hey, look at this replay there. Good, solid swing there. And uh, just drove through. So now, seventh inning now. 2-2 two -two count here for King as there's uh, two out also. So twos are wild. As it's now 6-1. to one, And King's going to launch this one out to left field. But it's going to be a caught. As the left fielder again makes another great play. And we'll see here. We're up by five now in this one. And looks like we could walk out of here with a nice victory here. And uh, what just happened? What just happened? Seriously. How in the hell did we... Okay, well, apparently we just uh, had the bottom drop out. <laughs> and lose this one. Get this. Seven to six. How? Well, let's take a look here. Uh, let's see. They gave up six runs in the eighth inning. How in the hell do you do that? <laughs> so we end up losing that one seven to six there at Cruz Field. My mind was blown by that. I could not believe that our pitching was that horrible that we could not, you know, maintain a five run lead. So now we have to try to see if we can avoid the sweep here in this one. And uh, try to walk out of here with a hopefully a solid victory. Top of the first here, up by a run. And we'll see with one runner on board. One out here from King. As uh, King's going to take a swing here. And King, well, 
He's gonna again. He's gonna get in trouble as he pops this one up. Third ma third baseman makes a play, and that is gonna be it for the first at bat here in this one. Go to the fourth inning now. It's tied one apiece. Nobody on and nobody out. King looking to try to get this one in uh, play. He does so there. Does get a base hit. He helps out. And that's going to put him on board here. Now the question is, do we go ahead and move him as he does have a 10-game hitting streak here? He hasn't been doing too well in base stealing here as of late either. He's been kind of uh, getting caught there for base stealing. We'll see if he's going to do it. Oh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and go take off here. Is he going to get there on time? And they say he's out. Yeah, plain and simple there. Now that one, I don't know. You guys be the judge of it. Go back and look at it. But there you see. He does uh, apparently get caught there. So now we have to go to the top of the six. And uh, with one on and one out, we'll see what uh, King can do. As King dribbles this one there and gets caught in double play. And, uh, yeah, not what you want to see there from one of your big uh, your big hitters there. Get caught in a double play or get uh, put into a double play there. It's now 3-1 to one here, top of the ninth. And a 1-2 count. For King, as there's one out and nobody on, and King, well, he is not going to be too happy about that play as the ball boy has to get out of the way for the left fielder to make a play there into left uh, le the foul territory there in left field. And that is going to be it for King, and that is it for us in this series as we lose three to one, and we lose we lose cleanly here three to nothing. How, I mean, seriously, how do you lose a game giving up six runs in the eighth inning? Oh, I know why. Bullpen. Are you kidding me? Come on. So we end up losing this one three to one. Your final score, King, one for four. It doesn't really help with him batting the way he has been batting here as of late. We got to turn things around there. Bro, Hunter Bo, uh, Xander Bowars, two for four. A double and RBI there for him. Eaton. Eaton has been having a trouble too here. I've been noticing here. He's uh, over three in this game. Only uh, scrapes up a run. Um, gets on by, by way of an error. But um, Eaton's numbers get his his batting is really poor this season. Uh, it's not like him not be able to get hits, and uh, he's been struggling at the plate also too. So, but I guess that's how you know that's how baseball is, especially when you're playing 162 games. So hopefully things will turn around here as we head back home. Hopefully this uh, home cooking that we're going to get there at home will take on the Boston Red Sox coming up in the next episode there in episode 93. And uh, we can turn things around and get ourselves on the right track. So uh, we'll see what King and the rest of this uh, team can do as uh, we got to turn things around. We lost three straight there. we got to bounce back, especially against the Boston Red Sox team. I'm not sure what they're like right now, but... Uh, you know, any Boston, it don't matter what Boston Red Sox team, if they're playing really poor or really good, they're still a dangerous team. They're the Boston Red Sox, regardless. So, we definitely have to try to be better coming up in the next episode. So, stay tuned for episode 93 coming up very, very soon. And stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's try to get 50 likes for the video. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord, all the social media down below. Not to mention, Check us out on Patreon if you would, do, would like to be a Patreon uh, member and be a part of our uh, different series that we have here on the channel. That's a great way of doing it. There's also some cool uh, perks and stuff there for you guys, so definitely check it out. As always, keep yourself each other healthy. If you go out, please wear a mask and be safe. And as always, I will see you guys next time.